on this job we are shrub trimming but as you can see it's a big block of car park shrubs it's mostly spirea and hypericum and there's a little bit of uh, forsythe at one side as you can see it's a beautiful morning a little touch of frost and uh, definitely a winter chill in the air um, but certainly here in the UK we seem to be getting a lot of rain lately and uh, this particular day was no exception uh, I think by about 1 2 o'clock we was getting wet I started by siding up the spy rear and uh, any particular long bits I sort of uh, cut them twice just to break them up get a bit more in the bag that way and then started on the top um, because of the width of the bed it's not practical to rake all the stuff off so it's a case of uh, cutting it in swipes so well, I tend to cut it in sort of at least three or four swipes obviously if this was uh, a domestic garden you wouldn't do it like this it, it would be to rake them out and blow them out uh, but you also you wouldn't get a big bed like this in a domestic garden but a bed like this you, you still want to do a reasonable job of them um, you know you, your work's on show and uh, the customers paying you for a decent job Once I'd done the spy rear, uh, I went straight onto the hypericum, sided that up. Uh, I could have sided up the whole bed in one go, uh, but it's just how I did it to be honest with you. The hypericum, when I did the top, I didn't take it down as low as the spy rear. I left it sort of about six inches higher, uh, it just makes it stand out a little bit more. Otherwise, it's just one big flat bed of nothingness. So, uh, sort of gives it a bit of contrast. Certainly, when it comes to working in car parks bit shrubs or cutting the grass the earlier you can start the better uh, I think I started this probably about 20 past half seven in the morning because um, you can always guarantee however many spaces there is there's always some awkward so-and-so I park right next to that bed and yeah 
can be very annoying. As you can see, slightly to the right, there's a bed of Forsythia. Uh, I just took probably about four, six inches off the top of them. Um, just leveled them off, make them look neat, as they're about to flower. Uh, so it's a shame to, to sort of lose that flower. And we're all trimmed up so all's left to do now is uh, a good rake in bag it and then a uh, bit of a blow through as you can see the full scythe here just there where that lorry was the tops are out it's so it perhaps looks a bit harsh but uh, give it two or three weeks and uh, that will have a nice green haze on it and uh, it'll be coming back with a vengeance Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.